Prague or Ayurveda, sound is one of the very important essence because they can use to, we say, like tuning up your body, mm. tuning up your mind and soul. So we use sound as one of the very uh, strong energy that can cure different kind of physical problems or mental stress, mental problems. More than that, when we talk about meditation, it's a very deep subject, right? So we use the sound healing for meditation. So as different part of yoga, uh, if you know a little bit about yoga, then uh, this comes under the category of Nada Yoga. Nada Yoga means understanding the sound of the universe and trying to interpret it, uh, which can unveil many things about, you know, our environment and our anatomy and lots of things. So these days you have like in, in medical science, you have ultrasonic frequencies, ultrasound healing, or manual frequencies, electric stimulations that imitates um, you know, a part of the same thing with, with these balls. But then these balls, they contain multiple different layers of frequencies and sound that resonate with different organs, with different parts of your body. So before going into deeper meditation, preparing yourself physically, internally, and preparing yourself mentally is the main process of uh, using the sound as meditation, right? Okay. So using the letter stick like that is understanding how to control the vibrations, control the sound, is a part of meditation itself. You know, demonstrate your patience, your focus. While you do so, your breathing pattern changes. So you use those letter sticks to rub around to create a consistent frequency it is the initial and the first step of meditation. Um, and then later you are listening to these different sounds, right? So, um, and each sound has a different effect. Different each sound has different effects. Parts of the body. Different parts of your body. Different parts of your body affects in two ways. Physically, of course, that you can feel, you can understand. The secondary part is emotional healing. So different organs is connected to your emotional aspects. You know, you do everything from your guts. You know, you go with your heart, with love and passion. So each and every organ is connected to your emotional aspect as well, right? So the science behind the ball is completely using these different resonance, different notations of the ball. Our body, it, is, it vibrates in a certain frequency. Your mind is always thinking. It produces a certain frequency. Uh, if you know a little bit about sound, you know, five different frequencies like alpha, gamma, beta, delta frequencies. Different frequencies provide different emotions to your body. Like uh, emotional consonants and healing, those kind of things, right? A bowl is made in such a way, it consists of such a complex frequency that actually you can listen to every sound that's audible to a human, you know, from this environment. The primal sound as a sound of OM, you know the sound of OM, right? Mm -hmm. OM is the beginning of everything, as we say. To understand briefly, you know, to create anything, you always need vibrations, you need frictions to create anything. So anything that exists, our body itself is always moving, you know, it's producing certain OM, or that vibration pattern is described as the primal sound, the sound of OM. So every part of your body is always vibrating. So your heart, when it's beating, it is in a certain frequency, your abdomen, your sexual organ, your thoughts, your throat, when you're speaking, you produce a certain frequency. So these bowls, they are alloyed with seven different metals, particularly representing seven chakras of your body. The seven, you know about the chakras? Normally to understand chakras, they are primary organs, the functional organs of your body. Your, your sexual organs, your abdomen, your heart, your throat, your, your brain. Right? Your thoughts, these are seven important organs, which is subdivided into different your nervous system, 112 sub chakras, which is uh, all of your senses, you know, your nervous system. So different frequencies is produced. So every metal it produces a certain frequency. So when it's allowed in the correct proportion, when it's correctly made, when it has the balanced sound, single bowl can resonate with multiple parts of your body. That is understood as chakra balancing or chakra healing. So healing your chakra, it means curing different physical problems as well as your emotional problems, de-stressing you know, your physical organs as well. So if you listen a bit closer, you can actually listen to multiple. Yeah, but then if you focus, at least the deeper resonance and the higher resonance, you must be able to separate it clearly in any of these handmade ones. Yeah, if you can put your hand closer without touching, you can actually feel the intensity, you can feel the resonance there. You can put your hand a little forward and you can feel that. Yeah, 
It's such an intense vibration, it warms up the air around it as well. Some of you were doing it. Um, the leather stick is used, as I said earlier, to create a consistent sound. So for short meditation, <coughs> you use the leather stick. So when you rub around the edges, you can create a very balanced frequency. Right? Deeper frequency is resonated to the earth frequency which means when you're concentrating on the deeper sound, it's more rooting, more grounding, relaxation, right? The higher frequency of a ball is represented as the sound of space. So the higher frequency is always pulling you up. That means getting away from materialistic things or, you know, um, being in space basically to understand, which, which is your, you know, bringing yourself out of your comfort zone or to, you know, do something out of uh, what you normally reach. So deeper frequency when you are more perpendicular to the ball, you are listening to the sound is half of meditation, but for the current like correct resonance, you sing or you resonate with the sound itself, right? So you are humming, you are chanting, or there are so many different mantras, uh, different words that you chant along with the ball for meditation. Oh. sounds or yoga you know it's it's actually the lifestyle from places around here it's a daily lifestyle well these days like it's also more focused like during ceremonies or different festivals different rituals uh, you, you would use the sounds as prayers as well so deeper sound as I said earlier is perpendicular if you want to alter the sound angling a stick a little bit of technique uh, you focus more on the higher frequency and you're concentrating on the higher sound as well so in any proper bowl, you must at least be able to separate these two different frequencies using the drumstick, the lower and the higher. But when you use the drumstick, like you listened earlier, everything resonates at the same time. So if you want to meditate for longer hours, then you use the drumstick. So most of the time for any kind of therapy, you are always using a drumstick actually. So when you're tapping it, of course it resonates much longer and it creates much intensity, vibration. So sound is the primary part of the healing, Vibration is the secondary part for your physical healing. So what we do, like um, if you want to focus on certain part of your body or if you have, let's say, problem on certain areas, people can lie down and then put the ball physically. Let's say for your spines, right? For your knees, anywhere, for your heart, abdomen, for your head, like someone said earlier, you, you place them on your head. Um, on your head is a little bit tricky because it's very like sensitive and you get that everything at once. Unless you are a little bit more uh, like responsive to the sound, it's advised not to do that set first on the head directly itself because it's, there, it's lots of things, right? But when you are used to the sound, then doing it on the head is one of the best way for meditation because it's not just on one part, no matter where you place them, as the blood circulates, the vibration, it reaches everywhere in every part of your body. So what we do is you place the bowl and you're just tapping the bowl. One strike would continue for about a minute or more, right? So when you are tapping the bow, the vibration, it is relaxing your muscles, it is um, opening your veins and blockages, and it is vibrating all the fluids in the body. Our body is like uh, 70, 75% water, so it is vibrating all the fluids, blood circulation, so when the blood is more purified, when it's uh, circulates well, it minimizes you know, risk of having multiple of other different problems naturally itself. So you would use the frequency for these different kind of healing that you need, right? So there is a modern science and traditional science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. This has been Sailing Adventures with Island Girl. Yeah, yeah. You've been here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Welcome back. Well,